hello guys uh, this is Shaw and in this video tutorial I will show you how you can reinstall an app sometimes some users uninstall an uh, app accidentally or sometimes intentionally and a lot of users ask me how they can reinstall uh, an app like some users uninstall Kodi for some reasons and um, some some can't find quick support in their apps so um, it's because they uninstalled it or it got deleted somehow so this tutorial will guide you on how you can reinstall those apps so let's do it uh, firstly I will what I will do is I will just uninstall DBMC from from my device so which is an app so uh, right now I will go into my apps okay guys uh, I'm using a T8S for this uh, video tutorial and if you are using um, an older uh, older droid box the home screen which is which is the screen that you see right now the home screen might look a little bit different and for going onto the apps uh, you might need to click on apps or my apps but for me it's the circle with six dots so I'm going into my apps right now by clicking on the circle with six dots so I'm going into apps now so I'm in my apps now and you can see that the DBMC app is there so I will go ahead and uninstall this app and then I will show you how you can reinstall it so I'm going ahead now so you can see that we're back on the home screen and for uninstalling this I will go on to settings the two cogs and then I will go on to other section and then I will go on to more settings then I will go on to apps and then I will find DBMC which is right here and then I will click OK on that I will go into it and um, then I will un uninstall it so that way it will be uninstalled and then I will show you how you can reinstall it so you can also force stop it or clear data but for me it's, it's neither force stop nor clear data because I don't use it so uh, I'll just go ahead and uninstall it so I'm uninstalling it now okay it's uninstalled already so I'll go back on the home screen by pressing the home button on the remote okay I'm back on the home screen so uh, now the process of reinstalling the app so I'll go back into uh, my apps by clicking on the circle with six dots uh, so I'm going into my apps now and then after that I will go into ES file explorer for reinstallation of, of an app will go into ES file explorer guys so I'll click on ES file explorer and then you will see this menu on the left side and these folders on the right side so on the menu on the left side what you need to do is you will need to click on local so I'm, I'm selecting local then pressing OK so it will it will display another menu inside it and then I will go on to device and I will select it and then I'll hit OK so on the right side now you can see there are a lot of folders right now so from these folders we'll go into system folder so I'm selecting system folder and then pressing OK so I'm inside my uh, system folder and you can see now inside the system folder there are also a lot of uh, other folders so from here we'll go into pre-install folder so I'm going into pre-install folder another thing that I want to mention here is guys uh, that um, this pre-install folder can can vary the, the name of the folder can can vary depending on the droid box model that you're using if you're using an older droid box maybe the name is different but the the, the path that I showed you that going going into pre-install and going into local and um, that is the same like going into local then going into uh, system and then going in going into device going into system then going into pre-install so uh, I'm going into pre-install now so and you can see that they, these are the apps that came with the right box so we can see there is Kodi we can see there is Teamweaver quick support and if, if you if you don't have quick support you can reinstall it from here but we we do have quick support what what is missing and what we uninstalled is DBMC so we will hit on DBMC and then we'll install it so I'm clicking OK I'm selecting uh, DBMC 15 and then I'm hitting OK so I'm hitting OK now and it's it's giving me this pop-up and from this pop-up I will select install and then hit OK on install and now it will begin installing okay it's showing install blocked security warning so if this message pops up on your screen what you will need to do is you will need to click on settings here so I will click on settings and then I will go into this these, these options and from here 
I will select unknown sources. I have selected unknown sources and on the right side you have to uh, you have to just press OK and, and then it will show the tick check on the right side. I am pressing OK and then it shows me another message and then I will also now I will uh, click OK on this message also. So I'm clicking OK and you can see that the tick check mark has appeared on the right hand side. So what you need to do is if you see uh, such um, install blocked uh, security message you will need to you will need to press on to this uh, settings and then you will need to uh, click on, on unknown sources tick check the unknown sources so once that is done you can go back onto the home screen go back onto the home screen then you will need to click on circle with six dots to go back into apps then once you are back into apps go into es file explorer I'm going back into ES File Explorer and you can see this is the uh, screen that we were uh, on previously. So I will hit DBMC again and it should not give us any security warning if I hit install. Okay, I'm hitting install. Okay, it's giving us another, uh, another screen and we'll, in, we'll hit install here also. So I'm hitting install here also and it's installing uh, the app right now. So we just need to wait a few uh, minutes or maybe a few seconds. Uh, for this to install and then I will check whether this has appeared back in our apps So we uninstalled it and now we are reinstalling it. I showed you how you can uh, Browse to this folder and how you can go into ES file explorer and then how you can browse to the folder where you will see all these apps I also notified you guys that uh, the folder the pre-installed folder name might differ, but the path is the same Okay, so it's done. Uh, we, we can open it directly from here and, or we can click done. But we'll just go for done and we'll check from the home screen. Okay, so I'm going back to the home screen now. So I'm back on the home screen and now we'll check within our apps whether there is DBMC or not. So going into my apps from the circle with six dots and now you can see that DBMC is back here in apps. So I have reinstalled the app from the pre-installed folder within ES File Explorer. So this is how you can do it guys, it's pretty simple if you know it. So I have made this video for you in case you need to reinstall and uninstall app, you can do it as, the, as I showed you. So uh, okay guys, I think this is it for this video. And uh, if you like this video, uh, you can hit like and subscribe uh, below this video. I'll be uploading more awesome videos and I'm sure you will fall in love with the box. Okay, till next time, take care, bye-bye.